for the first rider to emerge from the tunnel. If they were, Stosh would have taken it. Grupo Capato. It's down to want to regain control. It's almost uh, lead out stuff for the uh, for the sprint here, isn't it? As teams get themselves into color order and try and do the traditional drag race through to the the beginning of this uh, of this climb. Three or four k. Then you've got the long plunging descent down to the finish line here in Ishmael. You bet against it being a sprint finish. A little bit of 5% stuff coming up as the road signs will degree. This is where it starts to grab a little bit and everyone wants to take command. Appearance of Jay Vine in that Mountains Leaders jersey. He's got the small matter of that uh, mountain bream to come at the top of this climb. Is he going to attack it from afar? Get involved in a little bit of a bun fight. The, the final moments of the climb are actually quite steep. It's an average of 6% for the next four kilometers, and Vine's decided to go attacking here. Wants to thin this one out. An interesting approach. He's got the mountains classification. He might have a half an eye on uh, weather eye, really, on uh, stage honors today. Be his best opportunity. A few riders down the back won't forgive him this. Gleb Sarica among them, the Astana rider. The big unit sprinted well on day one, but that was absolutely pan flat. You could have run a spirit level across the entire race distance, and it was, uh, what, 49 and a half kilometers an hour after speed. This has been a fast day. We paired back from the 60, uh, 46 and a half kilometer uh, average speed of the first couple of hours as a result of the slightly more challenging topography, but I think it's uh, fair to say it's going to be another very fast day in the album. Jay Vine has tempted a couple of riders out of the peloton, the bingo uh, WB squad. And Louis Bluvet up the road earlier on today. They've got the likes of um, Malicelli and Salvi who might be tempted to stay where they are. But uh, Alexi Kera sitting eighth overall, 3.52 down. I wonder if uh, Kera is going to cr clip across here. That would not necessarily go down all that well with the likes of uh, Ander Okamika. Garan just uh, a handful of seconds behind Okamika. If it is Garan, it'll be a source of confusion and worry for Gus BH. Riders come in a cropper. Team Novo Nordisk. And indeed, that was the aforementioned rider who's at the back of the peloton going through the tunnel, Lucas Dauga. It's back on the bike. Just unshipped a chain. The move from the big ring to the small ring can often be a violent thing and can send the chain in between the uh, inner sprocket and the bottom bracket. Chain catchers always useful. De Camillo from Sofa Savini Due OMZ. Racing clear, but not on terms with this man. Jay Vine wants that mountains jersey by right. Wants a stage victory. Say the, the form is starting to come after a difficult year. The other Cometa always in the middle of whatever is going on. Rider up the road quite a lot in the last, uh, the last few days. The road goes up to the skills and talent. Great uh, effort from Mirko Maestri yesterday. Pietro Bon as well was really impressive, wasn't it? Contrasting uh, pace between those two riders, albeit they're on a different part of the climb. Bon is very, very much at ease. The great at ease is ever so slightly and comes back to his, his chaser. But the big old WB ride is going to get across. Make it two up front. Just yet, three kilometers remaining. This is the most 